I was uh, born in El Salvador, but I actually did not live in El Salvador for very long. I left when I was a year old. I grew up in, uh, in present-day Croatia. At the time, it was, um, it was Yugoslavia. There was a big um, civil war at the time in, uh, in, in that region. And uh, yeah, we moved, we migrated here in 1995 as, uh, as refugees. As a kid, you're just excited about change, excited about uh, potentially, you know, better life. When my parents came to Calgary, they had to go to school again. They had to retrain and learn a new language. And they had small kids, I mean, a family of four girls. And, and I saw how tough it is. We have seen people who, you know, are either single parents or, um, you know, our parents and they want to better their life. And it's hard when you have kids, we have small kids and we can't even imagine the thought of going to school, trying to work full time and also guide your children. And we thought, you know, it'd be nice to help someone a little bit financially to ease a burden one way or another. We hope that it's essentially a little spark that, uh, that gives people the right sort of um, initiative, hope to, uh, to continue pursuing their studies and to better themselves. I just thought maybe this person might need a car and I know it's not a lot, but maybe that might so they can go to school and um, then get back to their kids to, you know, prepare dinner and, and study. Or maybe they need um, that award for books. But just, as I said, lighten their load. I cried. Um, it was at that moment I knew that I was going to university. That seemed like something that was for other people. But seeing that, it was, the decision was made and I didn't know how, but it didn't matter because other people believed in me, so I needed to believe in me too. So I'm a single mom of four beautiful kids. Um, my children are 13, 11, uh, eight and six, and they're, they're my world that's we've really it's really been interesting during these times to come together and to have the opportunity to be a stay-at-home mom and a student again so something i always kind of thought for a while was um you know was kind of something that had passed um but when i looked into it i thought but why i could become a nurse and try to make a difference I wanted to, to lead my children. I wanted to be an inspirational role model to them. Um, and I mean, I wanted to learn. Then when I got notification that I had won the award, I thought, wow, I really can do this. You know, I, I, it, it made me feel worthy. It made me feel like everything was gonna be okay. And some of that uncertainty was, was just kind of settled. And it was just, it was, it was amazing to share it with my kids. And it gives me goosebumps just to think about it because now they're talking about my daughter wants to grow up and be a doctor. Um, my other daughter is still talking about becoming a teacher. They've really been able to see that with, you know, hard work, perseverance, um, and just and tenacity that you can really, you can really make a difference and you can you can get there and it's really given them the confidence and and I think that they're they seem proud of me now thank you for being able to give back to the university and give the confidence and the inspiration for others to feel worthy to follow their dreams